for the show and it's beautiful and sunny. It's not exactly sunny, but it's a grand day today. So I'm thinking May 17th, you're out in Balbriggan, you're playing Glebe North. How was the atmosphere going out to that match? Because you were in good shape, but this was this was the decider, wasn't it? I don't know whether it was a. So we need we needed we need, needed to win um, to be guaranteed safety. Yeah, to stay stay in the division. Yes. Um, so like on the bus, was there singing? Was there just everyone quiet? How, how does it no, work? No, we don't get a bus. We travel, we travel the games games uh, individually. So we didn't. We actually thought about getting a bus because if it all went well, we could have got a bus. Right, <laughs> and got, and I, I don't know. Now. But uh, no, right. we didn't want to change it and wanted to keep it all kind of a, a standard. Right. You know, so to be honest with you, I think we're confident. We've like since since Christmas. Um, before Christmas, our results have completely changed from from from, from our start. So um, yeah, we've probably like third or fourth best form in the league since Christmas, which is which is a massive massive turnaround for us. Um, so yeah, that no, was confident, really. Um, tough game, um, but it was confident. You know, four we two is a good scoreline. It's yeah, I'm sure yeah, it wasn't yeah, we, you know we, we, easy, but no, we went look, no no it wasn't definitely wasn't easy. And they're a good side. They, we actually beat them well at home, but um, up there, um, they're, they're 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 tough team to beat to be honest. Um, and. There's no gimmies, no gimmies this league, you know. They right. don't play for they were they were fifth in the league. Um but there's no gimmies ever. Like once they play they wanna play they wanna win. So yeah, no, it was it was a tough game but um yeah, we struggled a little for struggling apart, but then we got over the line which is great. So nice. yeah, yeah, I suppose for those on the outside they would think you know the, 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 when Jason McAteer and, and Klopp and all that co- become involved and there's a, a sort of a you know a kind of an online presence of well this team need to win w- was that the turning point or was it already happening before Jason turned up no it was already happening so I'd say I'd say UCD in November um, last year we went out we, 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 we'd been playing 4-3-3 system we changed it about 20 minutes went, went 4 4 two, back 4-4-2 four, four, um, we got a good result UCD were doing well at the time we got a good result it was one all one all draw it was kind of a, it's a little, some slight turning point we kind of played well we kind of at that stage finally we got a sort of a settled team um, we first started off we probably had a different back four different midfielders every week it all changed every single week at that point we just probably got our settled team lads, had, lads who had come in and left um, lads who had been away our, our captain was going, um, I was on a six week break so he had come back so we kind of finally at that point was kind of settled so we got that point and we played a ton of more before Christmas um, who were going well um, we lost 2-1 but again it was, it was, it was a tight game we probably, right. probably should, have, should, have, should have nicked them a draw there then we had, a, we, had a, we had a good break Christmas and we, and we came back for Christmas this Liverpool thing had, had, uh, had, had, had arisen quite randomly and um, yeah that, that, that just pulled everyone together and gave that sort of we're already kind of I think on the way to something um, but no, we still have, we still we still haven't won a game though do you know what I mean so the Liverpool team right. gave us a huge boost like so I wouldn't like to downplay it at all because it gave us a massive boost pulled everyone together made everyone want to train every week which <laughs> twice a week uh, and driving at training and um, yeah, so it gave us this massive lift, uh, massive, massive lift, and um, it, but, it definitely, definitely worked. You know? Was it a kind of? I'm guessing there's sort of a mixed feeling where you know it's a great honour that that somebody, a world famous team, is, is getting involved, but then it's also a bit like somebody putting their hand on their shoulder and doing an intervention, and saying, "I think you need help, pal. I'm, I'm going to come to your rescue." So I was, I was on holidays at Christmas, and I came back, and the lad said it to me, and my first reaction was, "Should I be offended by this?" <laughs> and, 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 and that's my honest reaction. I was like, "Yeah, really? I, I'm not sure." I, I don't know. I don't know how to take it. Right. So kind of as it developed, anyway, we kind of we had a few discussions, and it wasn't anything official. There's no contract signed. Or right. It was very like we're still going to come down. We're going to record you, and you know we'll put this document together. We said, like, yeah, we'll just, just yeah. do it. Um, so yeah, and it was nothing. That, like, as you can see, the documentary. There's nothing. They didn't take the piss out of us. It wasn't. It wasn't the kind yeah. of you know. Pixar, but it, 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 and it was a happy um, kind of you know occasion because of the fact that you had turned a corner already. There was a strong sense that you were able and very very capable of you know not being relegated. So there must have been it was a it wasn't like one, this is we're really at rock bottom and we're getting worse. This was well, we were probably at rock bottom, to be fair. We had right. <laughs> we were right. on the league. I mean, we were lucky enough that the, the, the first game that the, that Liverpool were there for, which was the first game after Christmas, was against a team that was in second from bottom, and we're struggling. Right. And um, they have think since got relegated. Um, we got seven mm. points on the So we were kind of lucky enough at the game that the first game that we had was against the, our best, the second worst team at the time. We were the worst team, <laughs> right. second worst team. So it was, it was a pretty good timing. And we struggled with it over the line there, but we, 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 but we beat them. And then once we beat them, it was just this massive sort of relief. And because uh, you know, they're good players and then they're good right. lads, like, and uh, it was just things weren't going well for us. And we, it was a brand new team as well from the start of the year. So we, everything just then finally, once we got that goal, uh, we got that win, kind of kicked on a bit, you know. And, but we, the Liverpool thing had kept that buzz going and everyone excited and wanting to be a training and then we got that sort of team spirit going with Bond which is a massive learning thing for me is like the sooner yeah. you get that the better because you know you don't let your teammates down and you think, work a little bit harder and don't miss training and all that sort of stuff and, and the Liverpool gave us that yeah. um, 
And that's the biggest thing. That's definitely the biggest thing we got from that, you know. Would you would you say as as, as a coach that that as much as it's you know about skill and, and your physical ability and all the rest, there's a psychological part to it that's huge. If you're if you're not on good form, you feel as a team, you just start to feel cursed, or you start to. hundred percent. Right. I think at any, any level you're playing at, like you're playing at you know just just Sunday league football or at, like Astro with your mates, or you're playing in the Premier League. If you're not if you're not playing with confidence, like you're not playing well. End of story. Right. I think you're. Confidence is key at any level of football. Any level of football, confidence is key. So was there was there a turn, was there a day or a moment or a match that you said, okay, I think we're all right. I think we're we're, we're getting there. I don't know if that's no, not really because 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 I mean we 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 went on a great run um, after Christmas and we played a lot of games and other teams hadn't played games. I think we got up to eight position at some point, but we played like three or four more games and other teams around us. So we kind of always knew those wins were only giving us a chance so like at Christmas time it's like if we can get to the end of the season if you'd give me a shot like of having an end of the season game the last game to try and stay up I would have bitten someone's hand off because like, we were dead and buried so really at no point until we actually won our last game and we were safe would I ever feel it was a like, sort of relief because we, because we weren't because we, all we did after Christmas was give ourselves a chance we were so far behind right. after our terrible start that um, all we did was give ourselves a chance and, uh, and look, thankfully and to be fair look, to be honest with the lads like Last couple of seasons, I've, I've, I've been I've been tough down there, and, and, and we struggled at times. We got relegated last season. Sometimes we, I think we failed under pressure. This group of lads, to be fair, the pressure was on this year, big time. Back to back relegations would have been tough. And say two or three pressure games at the end, they delivered Boom. massively, like and, 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 and delivered well and with confidence and, and with style. And there wasn't luck in the end, you know. It was uh, it was quality, and it was. Um, yeah, no, it was, it was brilliant to be honest. And that, that's a big achievement for them. Is, is living under pressure, you know. So well, it's a happy day today as well. Now you're you're, you're over in the in the Burnaby. You're, you're presenting yes. awards. Who who are the two lucky recipients? Yeah, uh, so we have two awards. We have two teams. We we we, we have a Friday a Sunday Sunday team and a Saturday team. Um, so Davy Crosby won uh, sort of first team player of the year, uh, and Robbie O'Connor has won the Saturday player of the year. Robbie's our, Robbie's our goalkeeper, and right. Robbie, to be fair, Robbie played the last game of Robbie's. He's played quite a few um, first team games, um, but Dave's been very good. Dave's our, Dave's our top goal scorer, and you know, he's, he's, he's been very so good. So they deserve it. There's no money changing hands right there. Both no deserve it. Hands. For, for, no. Hands, you know, I put it out to the players, I gave all the players a vote, and um, right. Davey yeah, won it hands down. There's a couple of votes, a few random people, but um, he won it hands down. So. I suppose the last question would be Liverpool played incredibly well lately, just pipped to the post. Do you feel like returning the favour, maybe giving a few little tips here and there because you know you're on a winning streak and it might just help them just to get over the line? I actually never thought about that. It'd be quite, quite funny to offer them an SOS train. Do that, I'll, I'll hold the camera. We'll do, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah. I think I think they'd appreciate it. Yeah, I look, I hope they go, go, win, go and win the Champions League final. Look, for them, yeah. like, for us, like they've, do, they've done something brilliant for us. They're like some, like I'm a Liverpool fan, a lot of yeah. lads are Liverpool fans. Dave, actually, in particular, is a massive Liverpool fan. Like, but to go over there to meet Jurgen Klopp and, and to meet some of the players, like I meet all the players, yeah. Especially with the season that they're having, it was just an unbelievable experience. You know what I mean, and 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 the good way, and, and basically for Jason McIntyre, like you not only did he come in and, and, and have a bit of crack, but like you can see him, he like he retweets our, our good results and yeah. he's well done boys, and like he's interested. You know, he gives. He, I was gonna say, I was gonna swear. So he, he, he does care. He gives a shit. To be honest, I was gonna say. He does. Holy moly! He does. Well, he does. He does, he does seem to enjoy. Yeah. You know, the, the obviously he loves football, but yeah. he does seem to enjoy his time Brilliant. with Great the guy. team because he kind of got got into it and yeah. got that sense of, you know, he's struggling with you and he wants to win. And when the win happens, win, like, you know, joy. Yeah, yeah. And they all they all bought into it, which is great. You know, I mean. Um, yeah, I can't thank, yeah. thank, thank them enough to, for, for, for the for the for the what they did for us. It's Nicely, great. well, we, we, nice. We'll give a we'll give a, a put in the links and all that to the um, upcoming and also to the the video and all that of the Liverpool visit. But well done, beautiful game, and we have a bit of video from the game too, which we'll link to uh, in Balbriggan, which was a, a lovely feeling. Great. I was, I was just yeah. Saying, one, one more thing. So I mean, oh, yeah. so, I mean we're a brand new team. So we got relegated last year. We lost most of our first team. So we put a brand yeah. new team together. So just if anyone like sees this or is interested or has moved to Greystones recently or whatever, look. We have a great club down there, great facilities, massive schoolboy section which is going fantastically well. We get the best of everything. It's it's brilliant. Like so, just give me a shout. I give one of the lads a shout and uh, come down to get involved. I'm, I'm trying to try and get better. Great. I'll get. I'll put the contact details and stuff in this yeah, piece yeah, so they can. Please. Yeah, great. Beautiful. Rock and roll.